right, on this video, we're gonna uh, be working on uh, the mid-engine CRX. We're trying to uh, make the clutch work. So I'm gonna show you guys what, uh, what I've got going on, what we need to do, and uh, we're gonna get started. So right over here, this is uh, my mid-engine CRX. And uh, we need to, this is our clutch cable. If you look right over there, see the clutch is moving? Watch, if I push this in, that clutch will move. And if I pull it out, it moves out. So that clutch is uh, connected to this cable on a 91 CRX. Well, I, I don't know, it's 88, 89, I can't remember the year. I got to to check the title. Also, we got the fuel tank done, so that's looking pretty good. If you guys haven't seen that video, definitely go back and check that one out. That was a pretty sweet video. So this cable right here comes out. We ran it back in the car through that hole. Over here, got it coming in the cab. So we're gonna mount it right about here. So it's gonna go right about there. And I got this bracket made up because, so if you look on this bracket right there, that bottom piece right there, that's where, this can slide onto that so that will slide down on that lock into that spot right there and then these two pieces right here are going to hold this master cylinder for the clutch i'm about to drill some holes in that we're going to mount that right there and then uh we're going to have to fabricate some type of lever between this up here and that down there so that when that pulls on that it'll push in on this which will then apply pressure to our uh, clutch slave cylinder which we still don't have hooked up either we're gonna have to run a line uh, from this to that so that's what we're gonna work on today I've already got these little bracket right here made up it's just uh, some pieces of metal I cut up and then I welded that thing on there I welded these two things here and then I welded those two things on the side of that. So we're gonna uh, drill a couple holes in that right now and get this thing mounted up. I actually cut this piece of metal out of a piece of metal that I cut out of the door on the CRX. And then I got this uh, YZ250 two-stroke piston pin. I'm gonna make this uh, lever arm out of that. It's just gonna, uh, the, the cable's gonna stick in the bottom right there. And I'm gonna mount it right here so it'll push on the master cylinder. Uh, I gotta get this thing cut off because I have it mounted a little bit too far uh, one way it needs to go the other way so just got to get that cut off and then want to re-weld it back on where it needs to go So here it is. This is the contraption. It's a prototype, still in the works, but you pull on the bottom and it pushes on the top. That's the idea. So this is the original master cylinder from a 96 Integra. This is designed right here to pull the cable from the 91 Civic, 89, whatever, I don't know what year it is. I gotta look it up, but. Yeah, that looks like it's going to work if you ask me. I don't know. So we're going to all hook it in the car right now and then adjust the cable and then see if it works. All right, so I got it hooked up right here. I got the cable from the car hooked up on there. 
So I might have to make that slot a little bit deeper, uh, but we'll see right now. Well, we'll see if it ever pops out. Let's give a push the clutch pedal right here. Oh, what? No way. And that's like the perfect ratio also. That is literally perfect, dude. Oh my God, that's awesome. I think I got it right in the first try, you guys. That's like the perfect throw. Like, we push that all the way down, and it's got that pushed all the way in. Yeah, that's like almost the maximum it can go. That is great. Oh, there it is. factory cable to push on the uh, hydraulic master from the Acura so this thing went right there like that and then uh, I would put the pin in right there and then the cable will pull on the bottom of this lever right here and it would push on the master but there was too much flex in this and uh, the cable and I tried to build this thing three or four times and it just didn't work. So uh, I actually looked up and they sell a kit that basically bolts on the uh, pedals right here. So I'm gonna try and build one to replicate that. I already got uh, this piece of metal right here. So that's, uh, those holes where the white's at, that's where the master's gonna bolt on. And then I'm just gonna weld that thing right about here. So we're gonna eliminate the, the cable all together and the, the pedal is gonna go directly, it's gonna go directly onto the master like that. So I'm gonna build a bracket to hold the master right there, just like that. So we'll try that out because that, that thing just didn't work. All right, guys, I know the last couple of clips and part of the video have been really hard to follow along, but uh, it's been tough. And uh, that part of the clutch that I built to uh, be pulled with the cable that would push on the master, it ended up not working. Uh, it was just a bad idea and it was a bad design. And there was, I tried to uh, revise it about three or four times and I just couldn't get it right. Uh, I don't think it was ever gonna work right. Um, the way, I mean, I could have got it to work right, but I just think it was gonna work better uh, after doing a little bit more research the way that I came up with now. But uh, I did have it all working and installed right there. Like, pretty sure I have a clip of it. Um, but it would only move the, uh, it would only move the clutch a little tiny bit and that was a big problem because uh it wouldn't disengage the clutch so it was working but it wasn't working enough um did get the fuel tank installed and i just put some gas in it I'll show you guys that real quick Boop. thankfully it's not leaking i was a little bit worried about that but uh, everything there seems to be in good shape. We did get the brakes done too. The brakes are done. Uh, we have brakes like right now. We actually don't have brakes right now because um, I have the pedals out. But also do have axles in it. We got the T-bracket in. Bracket in. Mm. Yeah, I think that's about it. But so this was the old bracket that I made. 
like I was showing you guys. And it, uh, it was working, but it just wasn't working properly. So that would pull on that and this would push on that. And uh, there was so much flex in the cable and in this that things just uh, weren't working properly. So I decided to come up with this device right here, which is, this is actually a part that they sell, um, but I decided to make my own. So this right here goes on the side of your clutch pedal and uh, it goes just like that, boom. These are your pedals on a CRX, so. And don't even tell me it's not lining up now. What is going on? There's something going on here. Is that what, is that what the problem was? There we go. I don't know how that was affecting it. But anyways, um, it goes just like that. And then you put your master in right here. And they, you know, then the clutch. Whoa, anyways, it's getting too wild, guys. It's too late. You'll see it when I put it together. That's how it works. That thing right there goes on right here. And I'm not even pointing the camera in the right spot. See? So, anyways. So, that's the bracket I made. And uh, I was going to keep on working on it tonight. But I would be no point to keep going because even if I got it all... Well, it's basically ready, actually, but I need to get another junction to go from that line up to here because now this master is going to sit, like, right here. Um, I already had to cut out a little bit of the... Uh, had to cut out... See right there? Cut the body out a little bit because... Uh, in order for that bracket to fit up there properly. So, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, get that thing put in tomorrow. So, that'll be uh, another video. Um, man, I'm really bad at making videos soon.